Hello Macwin community, welcome back to our channel where we simplify finance and help you make smarter financial investment choices. I'm Anand and today we are diving into a comparison that many of you have asked me for. Hybrid mutual funds or flexi cap mutual funds, which one is the best one to go with? So without further delay, let's get started with that. So before we get into the specifics, let's quickly recap what mutual funds are. So if you don't know what a mutual fund is, it's just an investment vehicle that pools money from multiple investors to invest into a diversified portfolio of stocks, bonds and other securities. So the main advantage of this is being taken care by a professional management group and diversification helps you to mitigate risk. So that would be the very much advantage of uh, holding a mutual fund. And this mutual fund is of various types. In this topic, we are going to discuss about uh, a hybrid mutual fund as well as a flexicap mutual fund. So what are hybrid mutual funds? So a hybrid mutual fund is, uh, as the name suggests, uh, these funds is a mix of uh, asset classes, which are primarily equity, which is like stocks about companies and debts. So this will be a combination of both uh, equity as well as the debt. So that's the hybrid name towards it. And this idea provides a very balanced risk reward scenario that gives you a very balanced scenario even in your markets ups and downs, even during crisis situations like COVID or war kind of scenarios, this will be like able to withstand those kind of situations. And there are different types of hybrid funds. We've got something like an aggressive hybrid fund, which invests mostly into equity. And we've got a conservative hybrid funds, which invest mostly into uh, uh, like proportionately having equal values of debt as well as uh, equity. We've got balanced funds, which gives you 50 50 proportion of both equity and debt. So this balanced approach uh, of uh, hybrid funds aims to balance a risk reward ratio by uh, diversifying investments across equities and debts. So this uh, hybrid funds, we've got like various categories. You can see here on this example shown here that uh, there are a lot of categories of uh, um, hybrid funds. So the main being the aggressive fund, the conservative funds, as well as going to be your uh, balanced fund. So the aggressive fund is like simple. There's going to have like more of equity that uh, we're going to be like aggressively into the market. The conservative fund will have like 65% allocation into debt and the balanced fund will have like 50-50 chances of like 50-50% of investment into it. And the risk reward ratio of this is going to be like uh, less risky because uh, uh, rather than a pure equity fund, we are going to have uh, uh, it's going to be like more of uh, debt as well as uh, equity allocation and it is going to be a very good uh, wealth creator on a long run. And uh, the naturally the next question comes to your mind is like whom should consider for these kind of hybrid funds. So if you are someone who is looking for a moderate risk with decent returns, then uh, this is definitely going to be an ideal choice for you because you're going to have a mix of equity as well as debt and hybrid funds will be a definitely a good fit for you. So what are flexi cap funds? So flexi cap funds are again a type of mutual fund where these funds are invested primarily into the equity market. But the flexibility of this investment comes towards uh, the market capitalization of the company. So we've got like different categories of companies. We've got like large cap companies, mid cap and small cap companies. So any companies whose market cap is less than 5000 crores comes under the small cap. 84,000 crores comes under your large cap companies. So these fund managers have got the freedom to adjust the portfolio according to the market condition. So if they see the market is like bullish, then they try to increase their allocation into uh, small cap funds. And when they find the market to be like uh, in a uh, consolidation phase, they go towards large cap funds. So this, uh, the main points would be is like having the flexibility towards uh, the fund manager's uh, discretion. So they can move the investments between large, mid and small cap stocks. The flexibility to adapt to changing market dynamics. That's one of the key things about your uh, flexi cap fund. So depending on the market scenarios, they'll be able to swap the funds. And there's a high potential of high returns as well, because by capitalizing the different opportunities across different market segments, the fund manager has got access to uh, the market scenarios and they'll be able to uh, uh, diversify the funds into different um, assets, being it a large cap or be it a small cap. So these flexi caps are ideal for investors who are looking for potentially high returns and who can handle volatility because with uh, higher returns comes uh, higher volatility as well. The risk reward ratio is like really huge here. And it's a great way to diversify your funds with equities because it's going to be only into equities. There's not going to be any debt allocation into it. Then the next question actually which comes to your mind is like uh, what is the comparison or how does these both compare? 
So in this example, you could see here that uh, we've got a chart here which shows about the comparison points between the uh, FlexiCap fund as well as the hybrid funds. So the first uh, category which we're going to have is going to be the investment mix. So the hybrid funds is going to be a mix of uh, equity as well as uh, debt. So that's going to be a mixture of uh, equity as well as debt. And uh, FlexiCap is going to be only uh, equity across different market caps. So there we'll have percentage allocation between uh, equity and debt. Here it's going to be only equity but across different market cap of companies be it a small cap, mid cap or large cap. The next title we're going to have is going to be the risk levels. In hybrid funds, the market uh, risk is going to be like moderate because uh, we are going to have uh, both uh, equity as well as uh, debt allocation into it. In fact, debt will be even your government securities as well as debentures and stuff. So debenture is nothing but an investment kind of thing without a collateral, put it in simple terms. And uh, we've got flexi cap funds where the high risk is due to the equity exposure because it's completely into uh, the equity composition. The next one is about your uh, potential uh, returns. Hybrid funds will give you moderate returns which are like growing towards a sustenance on a long period of run. Whereas the flexi cap funds will give you your higher potential returns but with higher volatility. As we discussed earlier with higher returns comes higher volatility as well. The flexi cap funds provides that. Then the uh, objective of this investments hybrid funds are towards stability and growth. They grow towards stability and growth. Whereas uh, flexi cap funds grow towards a diversified uh, equity investment. So they are only focused towards growth. They do not uh, worry about the stability of that. Uh, we'll see in the later part of the video an example of what exactly happened during the COVID scenario. We'll see how it function. Both these funds, how they performed. We'll take one fund into com consideration and we'll see how this performs. The next question which comes to your mind naturally is like which one should you choose? So uh, it all depends upon your own discretion. It depends upon your investment goals and risk tolerance. If you're looking for a balanced approach with a moderate risk, then hybrid mutual fund would be your ideal choice because that's going to be having your debt as well as your equity allocation. On the other hand, if you're young and if you're planning for a higher returns and if you're able to take up, if your appetite is more and if you're able to take up higher volatility, then flexi cap funds are definitely a good thing for you. So in this example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to compare two mutual funds. Say for example, I'll take it up from SBI. This is not a mutual fund recommendation by any means. I'm just using a good company so that we can consider them for uh, both the uh, fund comparison. I'm going to take the SBI FlexiCap fund as well as your uh, SBI uh, hybrid fund as well. So here I'm going to take an equity hybrid. I'm going, not going to take a conservative hybrid. So I choose the equity hybrid. And if you happen to notice here that uh, the CAGR of both these funds are like almost the same. There are just one or two percent of difference here. And if you happen to notice here that uh, the last one year of uh, you'll be able to see that both of them are like almost matching up. They both are like going close together. There are like hardly some scenarios where the uh, FlexiCap fund has uh, outperformed the uh, hybrid fund. And um, if I try to look at the last five years, three years portfolio, it's almost the same again. But uh, if I happen to see the last five years of uh, chart, you could uh, see a very interesting thing happening here. Let me click the five years one. So that's the 2022 crisis. Now uh, this five year dip, you will be able to see there is a long dip which is happening on the 23rd of March 2020. That's your COVID break. So that's when the market was like completely down. You could see here in this uh, scene that uh, the FlexiCap fund has literally gone down whereas the hybrid fund was able to sustain that time. There was growth which was happening in your uh, hybrid fund because as I said earlier, the allocation is going to be more on your debt kind of a scenario. So now the market is uh, completely in bullish trend and everyone is like trying to mint money. But once the market goes to recession, when it goes to the bearish trend, this FlexiCap fund will definitely be like uh, going through a down phase where the hybrid fund will definitely take a uh, spearheader that will automatically try to like show up higher returns at scenarios like that. So you can see very clearly in this chart that uh, during the COVID breaks the uh, hybrid fund was definitely showing up greater returns and if you could see here that um, the five years were almost same 16% and 18% and uh, rolling down you could see that uh, the GOI, what you see there is going to be your uh, Government of India kind of a bonds. There's almost like 5.7% allocation towards that. 
This is again a 71,000 crore industry. The hybrid fund is again a 71,000 crore industry from SBI. So uh, people who are like cross their 40 plus and 45 and stuff, they always plan for something called as uh, sustenance in market scenarios, in all kind of market scenarios. So for that kind of scenarios, the hybrid funds definitely play a great role. And if I go to the uh, investment, you could see that I've chosen the uh, aggressive hybrid, not the conservative one. And uh, you could see that uh, the investments are mostly into uh, sovereign bonds, government securities. And um, let me click on, um, that's almost 5.6% allocation towards when you click on see all, you could see that uh, there are more investment towards, uh, again, government securities, 4%, 2%. So these things automatically play a role. You could see that like there are other things from the uh, state government, there are uh, uh, trust kind of an investment towards these debentures as well. That is, these are the debentures which I told earlier. These are like uncollateral, uh, like collateral free loan kind of things. Imagine like that to put in simple terms. So these debentures also are like, uh, which is like a secured money. There are a lot of debentures as well as government securities you'll be able to see in this. So this investment will give you an automatic uh, growth towards uh, market uh, bearish trends. So at that time, this definitely plays a key role. So uh, if you ask me like uh, how exactly are you planning for your future in your retirement phase, then this is definitely a very good thing for you to uh, consider. If you have watched my last video, you could have seen that there was a video which talked about uh, a perpetual way of getting a consistent uh, revenue with your investment. I would have referred a hybrid fund definitely there and not a flexi cap fund because this gives you a very good, a decent return even when it is going to be your uh, bearish trends. So to sum it up, both hybrid and flexi cap mutual funds, they have their own unique advantages as well as disadvantages. It's crucial for you to align your choice with your financial goals, risk appetite and investment horizon. Always plan for a minimum of five years of SAP or your mutual fund investments. Do not plan for anything lesser than that. Instead, you can go for alternative investments. But if you are into your mutual funds, plan at least for a five year horizon. And remember, always do your own research and consult with your financial advisor before making any financial investment decisions. And uh, if you like this video, don't forget to share, subscribe to this financial channel and hit that bell icon so that you will never miss an update. And do not forget to leave your comments as well. I would love to read your comments like what exactly you guys come up with. And thanks for watching this video and happy investing. I'll catch you up in the next one. Thank you.